Hey everybody, welcome back to Inverted Reality. I'm Jake, this is my co-host James over here. Hey guys. Today we're going to recap, or at least in this video, not today, there might be multiple videos today. Uh, we're going to recap Sony's E3 press conference. Bah, 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 bah. All right, <laughs> so I they came in and they like to start off with, we missed a couple minutes of the stream at the beginning because yeah. of like some audio, like technical issues. We missed the audio had for the first two trailers. Eight minutes of no game audio. Yeah. Which was weird. Which was annoying, and the stream was kind of like a little glitchy, iffy. So the, it it was kind of a mix of like some internet, but I think there was an issue on the other end. There might not have been, and it might just have been us. But it was kind of like super choppy and whatever. But yeah, so it was kind of annoying, but it was good enough that we got a a good view yeah, of the I mean, stream. We, know we saw everything. On. Everything was still coming across. We heard it once they got the audio back in. Production value was a little bit different than we would maybe expect. Yeah, it just there was just some weird decisions. It's not something we can really blame Sony for. Right, it's just a higher company, yeah. the company, they tell the them what they want to do. do well. So there was a step missed somewhere. Yeah, I really liked, um, they did the same like live music intro that they did last time. Yeah. This was like an Uncharted theme, because they started off with Uncharted Lost Legacy. And so they had like this very like Moroccan, like old school, like style. And there's like sitar. And yeah, 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 sitar and, and, and like a pan like flute. And drums. and It was awesome. And it worked really well with the, they had a, a water, like a rainfall. Yeah, they had a water wall. Water wall. And uh, so they did some Rain cool curtain, designs on it and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we didn't know what any of the symbols meant until we started getting into the gameplay yeah. itself. But Lost Legacy is supposed to be a pretty decent, pretty like, good pretty length DLC game. They're saying like eight, for... eight to ten hours is like yeah. a rumor that I've heard. Um, so we got to see our first look, our first real look at that. We'd seen a like a cinematic trailer for it. Yeah, and this was still like there was obviously cinematic elements, but yeah. with Uncharted, they're so seamless that you can't always tell. Yeah. Um. So I, I'm excited. It's Uncharted. It's cool. Yeah. You I'll know, it. it's instead it's got Chloe and ooh, I can't remember her name. I know, but so it's got a couple female leads as opposed to playing as Nathan Drake like yeah, you used I, to. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't uh, see anybody else from I don't think the we old will. game. I yeah. think that's that's how they keep the price down. <laughs> Things like that. I think it's going to launch at 40 is what they had said before. Sweet. Um, so that's good. That's coming soon. That's later this year, right? Did they give a, or they I even? don't remember seeing a release okay. date for I mean, it or a window either. or anything. Yeah. Um, the next we saw was Horizon, uh, the Frozen Wilds. So DLC for Horizon. Mm -hmm. We got a window for that, just said 2017. So from now until December 29th, mm -hmm. um, we would proffer to guess. It, uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy is August 22nd. Okay. So cool. it's pretty quick. We'd already known that before E3. Yeah. It just, we just didn't That's have it. That's why they didn't show us a right date down. Down. Yep. at the actual conference. Yeah, Her Horizon, the Frozen Wilds, looks good. Uh, looks like more, more Horizon. From what it reminds me, there's, a, there's one of the side missions in Horizon is you're going to these people that they think... That they're like connected with. Oh yeah, those yeah. people. But then they say like you come in there and then you determine that there was just some kind of evil spirit, or whatever. And then they said they were gonna go like back to the north. But I don't know if I remember it was that people. But there was definitely a group of people yeah. you did a side quest with that said that they were like people from the north. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's where we're going. Um, it looks really cool. There's a yeah. huge mountain, probably like new machines. I at least assume like maybe a couple new like machines. A new like boss machine. Definitely a new boss machine. Um, the guy that she talked to in the trailer had the same like little blue cords on his yeah, skin a lot of them had. that, that silence had. And we really didn't see those a lot anywhere else. And they never really talked about it. Like it no. never came up. So I would love, I, maybe they'll get into what those are. Um, but that's like I said, 2017 should come out this year. There's no reason to think it wouldn't. It's yeah. just DLC. Uh, no clue if it's standalone or if it's, you know, a free It looks like it's meant to be or, part of the... Like an add-on, not standalone, right. because she's wearing the armor set that you yeah. can get. So I'm curious how she much... You didn't have to get. It was a side mission. Yeah, she found I'm, it. I'm curious how much it is, how, how much yeah. that'll come out to be. They didn't say anything yet. That's not usually something they talk about for well, the E3 stage. it's just DLC. It wouldn't be more than 20 bucks. Yeah, I mean, even that that's might be pushing a little it. steep. We'd see, we'll see. It's That's one of those things that's not going to go on sale. Like It's going to be that price for a long time. So yeah. 10, 20 bucks. It really just depends. If we're getting two hours of content, maybe 10 bucks. If we're getting 10 hours of content, like maybe a little bit more. I can't imagine them adding 10 hours to a 50-hour a game I don't know. from a thorough playthrough. It's hard to say. You could probably get through that game in 30 hours. Yeah. If yeah, you're I mean, just going to like busted it's through It's like a 50-hour platinum game. Yeah, it's 50-hour platinum. Mm -hmm. So that's it's a pretty thorough run. Um, next we saw was Days Gone. Yep. Um, new game from Sony Bend. Uh, so we started in a compound. Didn't catch what he was saying because this was right before they fixed the audio issues. Um, but our main character hops on a bike and starts trudging down the road. He sees these like zombie wolves chewing up on a corpse. Mm -hmm. And then 
gets clotheslined by a trap that these guys yeah. set out, which I thought was awesome. These two guys hopped out and they fight and they die. And mm-hmm. Normal combat system. I didn't see anything crazy in it. Yeah, it looks looked cool. pretty cool. Some quick time stuff. Um, they didn't have any... Look like a, some kind of... Sorry, go ahead. No, they didn't have a user interface system, which yeah. to me screams alpha gameplay. Yep. We saw some of the faces that were in there were... They, they didn't have a ton of textures, right? Your main character yeah. did, but some of the NPCs he was fighting with didn't really have much. So I think that's, that's you know, another indication that it's probably not coming in 2017. Yeah, um, still being polished. If it was, they probably would have told us. Oh, they didn't so. give us anything for a release date They right did now. not. So, like, after that fight, it looked like he activated some kind of tracking system. Yeah. I kind of missed it. And he walks down, you see this, you turn a corner and see this pile of dead bodies being feasted upon by a bunch of zombies. Mm-hmm. She kind of sneaks by and finds the person he's looking for. and um, At which point, I'm assuming you can decide how to play from there. Right. So the way they did it, um, he went through like a fence into these people's base or stronghold or whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. And then he set explosives on the fence and blew the fence up, which attracted the zombies. And they ran in and chased pretty much everybody off. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm guessing you there. could probably like go in and stealth yeah. it if you wanted from to. From there, like if you're good or if it's set up that way, you go and just stealth kill people. Or you just whip out your gun and start slaying. I don't yeah. know what... Ammo preservation is going to look like in this game. No idea. Um, I like the options. Yeah. I, it's, it seems cool. interesting. Um, traversal seems cool. Uh, one thing I was really struck by, we saw a little bit, was the the wolf zombie dog yeah. things, right? Like, So they're being affected by the flesh they're eating, which makes sense. But we don't see that a lot in zombie games. Usually wildlife's yeah. kind of kept to its own. Its own thing. Um, so that was cool. And then at the end of the trailer... They came out with it was he looked up at the the hillside and it was like a bear yeah. was feasting on someone and then like the bear stood up and was like wrapped in barbed wire and had like exposed like rib bones and like flesh hanging off yeah. it was nasty zombie bear it looked awesome so it looks really cool I'm excited they had a good slice of gameplay that showcased a few different things I would think yeah. that they're close um, you would I'm think sh- but I'm sure it's 2018 no but release it's, date it's weird we didn't get they a didn't release even get. A month year. release year release nothing this is the second time we've seen this is a problem that i had with this game and Couple one or two others in here is that this is the second time we've seen them we saw a solid amount of gameplay footage whatever you want to call it and no indication of when it's going to release mm-hmm. um we looked up days gone it says placeholder probably placeholder december 29th this 2017 year. but that's the last weekday of the year yeah so that's pretty typical just as a placeholder. So maybe it'll be here 2017. That'd be great. Um, I would like to think that they're going to announce something soon. If it really is going to be then, then we're, we got to hear something this week. Like there's no way they're going to get out of E3 and still launch in 2017. It's still just, feel like this is a game you, you announced three months before. Like, no, hey, I it's mean, coming out in a couple months. Like, no, like mm-hmm. we needed the six month heads up for that. And yeah, so we'll see. More demo footage. I think we'll, st- I think this isn't the last we've maybe. heard of from Days Gone this week. I'm hoping that we'll see some more. They didn't talk about... Um, and this is this is a their conference was different than most in that they didn't really talk about like what you could do if you're at E3 with this stuff. Yeah, um, it was very similar to what Bethesda did. Um, they didn't have a lot of like the talking points for that, um, and we'll get into that later. But that's just so it's cool. Game looks good. We just don't know much more about it. It's nope. definitely got like the survival aspects to it, and you have like a home base, and you travel out from there. It doesn't look as survival as. In the way that, oh, I need to, like, I have these eight bullets. I need to hold on to them. Right. It's not I have like this little bit of food. I, I need to I hold on to I don't think it's it. going to be, like, a Last of Us style yeah. survival. I don't think it's going to be, like, a State of Decay t- style zombie game. I think it's going to be its own thing. So I'm interested to see, but I want to see more. Adventure a little bit. It's all third person. Yep. Uh, in case you didn't see, make sure you check out. We're going to put the links to a lot of these trailers here below. Uh, so you guys can go check it out for yourself. Um, so what's what's next? We saw uh, Zombie Next Bear. we saw Monster Hunter. Yeah. So this is something I'd heard rumored. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anybody said like it was confirmed or more than rumored or just hopes. Yeah. Um, the trailer launched and we were just kind of watching it like, what no is idea what it was. This? I don't understand. Like, what is this? And then, you know, he ends and oh, title pops up like, oh, it's monster. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, he because he mentioned in the but right before he intro it, he said it was, um, you know, it had a cult following, right? Yeah. And, and people really knew it, and so it's one of those things like. We didn't know what it was. You no. come out, and this guy's walking through. There's small dinosaurs. There's big dinosaurs. You're like, well, what's going on? And then at the end, there's a dinosaur. And then you've got uh, a flying dinosaur comes in and eats him and kind of looks like a dragon. I'm like, okay, that's really awesome. It's pretty dope. It was hard to tell if the stuttering was the stream or the game itself. I'd like sure to just it imagine it's the stream. Um, it looks good. It, it looks cool. 
uh, the the trailer felt looked a little, a little unfinished. The trailer felt a little disjointed. The cuts yeah. were in weird spots. Yeah, and it just it there was really no context to it. It was all gameplay. It was very clear it was gameplay. There was no, yeah, no was, cinematics. Just, no all. no context. No nothing. It was just mm-hmm. here he is doing this thing. Here he is doing this thing. Here he is doing this thing. Now he's fighting. Now he's cooking food. Yeah. So he just like whips up this bone, throws it over this portable spit that he's got, and starts rolling it over. It's awesome. And everybody started laughing. Yeah, I mean, we so maybe that's a maybe because everybody else started laughing. Maybe that's a Monster Hunter thing that we don't know about. Maybe if you, if you guys know something about Monster Hunter, we don't let us it's know. Coming in early 2018. Mm-hmm. That's yes. kind of a surprise. Um, maybe we just didn't have the finger, our finger on the right pulse. Um, yeah. I know that Monster Hunter is coming to some Switch stuff. Maybe that's the same title. Cool, maybe. wonderful. Um, we knew it was coming eventually, so it is cool that it's er- when they say early 2018. I pretty much think like. Quarter one or yeah, quarter it's two. It's gonna be Q one, dude. It's it, it could be Q two, like because it's still like well, it's not the middle. It's the <laughs> beginning ish. Anytime in Q one, early Q two. Yeah, because so, like, in the middle of Q two is like okay, this is the middle of. It looked cool. I just want, I just want more. It, it's it's yeah. just like an open world thing. You just jump in, go hunt monsters, and then you just make your own. It's No Man's Sky, but with monsters. Like what's the, what's the push? So yeah. I just want to know. We'll see. I played a little bit of Monster Hunter on Vita, but it wasn't really a good representation of what I think Monster Hunter is supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, I, I feel like if I had seen something like this before, it would like trigger in me. Yeah. So, looks cool. Third person as well. Uh, next thing we saw yes. that did trigger for us mm. relatively immediately. Yeah. We, the first thing we saw <laughs> in the trailer, like they, they pop up Japan Studios. Like, okay, like we know a few yeah. things Japan has done. And then it pops mm-hmm. up the Blue Point Studios. They're like, oh, it's a port. <laughs> um, and that's not a bad thing. Blue Point is kind of a port studio or a yeah. remastering studio. I think mm-hmm. it's cl- probably closer to what they do. Yeah, I think so. That sounds um, right. But Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. I hadn't heard anything about it. No, I heard nothing about Just, it. I mean, it, they've always talked about it along yeah. with in the same vein of Last Guardian, right? Isn't like, oh, these old games that need to be remade, but we just never saw anything, never heard anything. So I was so surprised to Shadow see of the Colossus it. PS4 coming in 2018. Didn't give us a, a window in there. It just said mm-hmm. 2018. So be looking for that next year. Anytime. Look good. It looked gorgeous. <laughs> it did look good. Uh, it looks like I would play Shadow of the Colossus, but better. It, it, it looks like, like it should be. You know, it, it. My problem with the Last Guardian, and I think it was more of an art style choice, was that it just it was remastered, but it didn't look like a PS4 title. Yeah, no. Right, it didn't. and maybe it got better when you actually played it. After on like, TV. I watched some let's plays of it. After you watch it for a little bit, and we're kind of in that world, it looked normal. Yeah, the art style of it. Because when you first look at it, in Think about how long they've been talking about it. Yeah, you think, oh, this should be a lot better because the, the game that came out in some other time frame, Final Fantasy, fi- Final Fantasy 15, was being talked about for the same amount of time. Came out, looked gorgeous. Yep, it releases next to Last Guardian, which came out and looked super cartoony. Yeah, it just didn't quite. Cause, so I was worried that it would be similar, CG rather, that, but but it was way better. It yeah. just it, it looks really good. cleaner. Looks really good textures. For a frame of reference, Blue Point has done Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection, Gravity Rush remastered, Flower. Titanfall, they had a hand in, probably just like a port to one of the other yeah, moving around on consoles. Uh, Metal Gear Solid HD collection, the Ico and Shadow of the Colossus collection, uh, God of War collection as well. Yeah. So they've done a couple, they know their stuff. Yeah. When it comes to having their hand in the collections for the old games for this with Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Um, I feel pretty good about how they Definitely game, no the shame in what they game. do because they do it really well. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. I play a little bit of it on PS2. Yeah. They just told um, us 2018, nothing else. So, yep. But they had gameplay. It looked impressive. Yep. Looked so. like Shadow of the Colossus in HD. Yep. You got it. So you can't ask much more than that. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was pretty expansive uh, story trailer. Yeah. We saw. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen people and We've seen some trailers before for this. Um, this one definitely expanded on it quite a bit more yeah. than we've seen. This is a really cool concept. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom has always been like kind of a fighter yeah, niche. Like They've always done different things with it. Um, this one just looks really cool. I'm starting to be m- much bigger into comic books and things like that and that universe. And it's, it's just cool to see those characters there. And, and um, I don't know, seeing like the Capcom guys mixed in there with like some Street Fighter yeah. and Mega Man and, and things like that. Um, September 18th, there's a story demo. It's available now. Um, right after the conference, it wasn't available yet, but I'm sure by the time yeah. this goes up, it will be. Um, just a quick peek at it. Uh, September 18th. I don't really know what kind of game it's going to be. I'll be mm-hmm. honest; they didn't really show us. They showed us a lot of cinematics. Um, I'm assuming it's like a fighter in the vein of like fighter. Street Fighter type style. Um, I wonder if it's something similar to like the old Mortal Kombat's, where you kind of walk around the world mm-hmm. and then meet people, go through story bit, right? Get into fights. Some of the early Tekken stuff was like that too. Yeah. Uh, so that'd be cool. 
Uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm not, you know, it's not a day one purchase for me, but I could no. red box that. We'll see it around. You know. Um, Call of Duty World War II. We really knew this was coming. Excited. We've known about this for a little while. Yep. But it was great to see actual gameplay looks, good trailer for it, mm-hmm. looks gorgeous. I mean, what do you expect from a new Call of Duty game? Yeah. Um, gunplay looks really good. Like Call of Duty, it's what it does. Looks solid. It looks like a. I, I would say it looks like an improvement, and it was obviously a very small slice of the game, but it looked like an improvement in the feedback of the weapons, like on your yeah. screen, like so much we've been getting used to the newer games with all the attachments and being able to just really hone it in and you don't have any bounce in your rifle and stuff like that. Yeah. And you just watch this. He's using the M1. It's yeah. Like, boom, 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 ping, boom. Ping, ping, ping. It's like, that's exactly what it should be. And just reminded me of playing those old World War II games. As yeah. soon as he pulled up and looked down those sites, I was like, I recognize that from playing games when I was a kid. Yeah. And he shot it and I was like, I know what that looks like. This is, it feels like, it looks like it's going to feel really good. Yeah. It looks solid. Um, it, they had flamethrower. They had a really cool shovel melee where you put a shovel through a guy's head. Like it was through his helmet. Way more graphic than I expected it to be. So that's awesome. Looks really cool. It's just like the, the speed of Call of Duty gunplay with mm-hmm. World War II weapons. I, I like think it. it's going to be really fun. And more enhanced abilities. Yep. I like it. So that's, that's got a release date on November 3rd this year. Typical Call of Duty. Early yep. November release. Mm-hmm. Get out there for holidays. People play it over Thanksgiving and all that mess. No surprise. Um, we'll so. it. Yeah, we'll be buying it. Oh, show. Sure. Uh, next up, we had a few, a, a good list of VR games. Like, like I don't know if these are going to be looking VR games exclusive to PlayStation. I don't know. Um, I'm that's sure probably, there's uh, going to be some on Vive. Yeah, that's a like that's that. a major difference between this conference and other conferences. Is they don't tell you what's exclusive. No, if you're a PlayStation us. fan, you know what's exclusive. Right. And things that aren't exclusive, you just don't know if it's going to go to other platforms. Because yeah. Who cares? Yeah, they just um, showed us game trailers. I mean, they yeah. didn't say the, there was only like one or two things that they said, and it was stuff we already knew about. It was no surprise. Yeah. Sean Layden came out at the, after the first two trailers, and he's like, "We're here for games. We're all watching in here because we love games, um, and PlayStation is the best place to play games." So we he's like, games. "Let's get on to it." And he walked off, and then he walked back out at the end. One more thing, two more trailers, and we were gone. Yep. As I mean, just like Bethesda. Mm-hmm. Just up in front, up at the back. Didn't hear from all these developers in between yep. of Very bad smooth. stage presence and <laughs> like nervousness and all that stuff. I, good. I would rather see this for every conference. We'll hit on not that, that more. I, yeah. yeah we'll not that I don't want to see developers, but I just like yeah. this style better. So but. As, as far as virtual reality, we had um, one, two, three, four, six games. Yeah. We didn't get any release dates, any information like that. They didn't say anything. That's fine. There was one that we did see, but most of them we didn't. Yeah. Uh, Skyrim, PlayStation Skyrim, VR. Play, yep. Um, I would assume whole game. We knew it was coming to yeah. VR. Uh, we weren't 100% sure on if it was going to hit um, yeah. PlayStation VR or not, if it was just going to be on the Vive. It's awesome that it's there. That's a great yeah. thing. I can't imagine it wouldn't be the full experience It from what they I showed imagine us. imagine it would be on everything. I mean, especially since we saw at Bethesda yesterday that Fallout 4 is entirely playable on VR. Yeah. Skyrim is going to be entirely playable on VR. Exactly. So I, that's what I imagine they would match up. For sure. Next, we had a game called Star Child, mm-hmm. and we know nothing about it. Yeah. They didn't, I don't really know what is VR about it, because yeah. everything they showed us was just like a cinematic trailer. Like it, it, almost of, like a 2D side scroller. Yeah, it was like a 2D side scroller, this person walking around. Did I make it? Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> and, right. uh, yeah, and it then just, you show this robot come down, so I'm like, do you, do you play as the robot protecting the little person? Yeah. Um, do you play as the person running around making sure not to get hit by robots? Didn't sell me on the VR for the game because they didn't no. show us that perspective. They, they did not. Uh, that's probably a way down the road then. That's my guess. Uh, uh, inpatient. Uh, the looks, inpatient. The inpatient. Not just any inpatient. But the inpatient. Inpatient. Kind of like, you know, uh, Looks like a scary game. Procedure outpatient. Somebody procedure. probably in like a mental hospital. Yeah. Reliving visions and stuff all in virtual reality. No. Hard pass. It's going to be like a... I looks high quality. Yeah. Looks but. high quality. I wonder if it's going to be one of those... Uh, like an experience like or a walking a game. simulator? Yeah. Yeah. Is it something that you sit there and the game happens at you? Or do makes you actually get like, up and move around? Makes me think of like Rush of Blood and stuff yeah. like that. So that'll be or cool. It's be on rails. Uh, next we saw this stupid Monster of the Deep. Yeah. The Final Fantasy 15 fishing game. It's it just fishing. It, just, it popped up like it pops in. You see Noctis and you're like, oh, dude, Final Fantasy in VR. This yeah. is going to be awesome. Awesome. And then it cuts to like fishing and you're like, okay, that's a weird thing to lead off with. Final Fantasy got a. A lot of really cool elements that we could be playing in VR, but <laughs> all right, cool. Lead with fishing. Maybe that was awesome. And then he kept pulling up stuff and kept going fishing. And then it cut to an angle where you're seeing Noctis. And I'm like, Noctis is the one that fishes. Why are we seeing him at dinner? And then 
you see like a boss fish and all this stuff and it cuts it Monster of the Deep, Final Fantasy 15. What? So it's just Whatever. fishing. So Weird. September 2017, later this year, you can go fishing in Final Fantasy. There you go. They'll probably get a lot so more bites than you would when you go fishing in real life. If you have to sit there for four hours and not get a bite in Final Fantasy, I'm going to be mad. Just come home, put your headset on and just sit there. <laughs> ah. Crack a beer open. This is the life. It's great. Just turn on a space heater and a fan. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it. All right. Bravo Team was another virtual reality one. Uh, it was made by the same studio that was doing Inpatient. Supermassive. Uh, Supermassive. Yep. Um, they've done some VR titles before. Uh, look cool. It looks like a first-person shooter. Yep. Um, those are always really cool, unique in virtual reality. Graphics look really solid. I wonder if it's going to be a walk-around First person shooter or know. on rails? On first rails. Shooter. Either way, it looked cool. Yeah. Virtual reality, first person, I'm down. Yeah, that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Last one we saw was Moss. Mm-hmm. So there's a little mouse. Mm-hmm. He's running on the world and it looks like kind of a puzzler, a puzzle game. Yeah. So I don't know if you saw it, like, because it showed him, like, walking through a maze and the walls popped up as he got there. Mm-hmm. So it kept him from turning. And uh, James mentioned that it kind of is a remnant of Tearaway in the way he yeah, you, you might were, be interacting with the character, and you're not actually the character. Yeah, there was just there was some elements of that where you were like messing with things in the environment <laughs> to help him out. Yeah, um, obviously, Tearaway, you control the character, but there's a lot of stuff you do outside of the character in Tearaway, and that's kind of like the feeling I got from this. Um, looks really cool. Uh, the, the mouse in it was super cute. Kind of looked like a fennec fox almost with the huge ears yeah. on it. So I'm I'm interested. Yeah, is like, he gonna sell VR? No, but I'm no. glad that they dedicated. A chunk of time showed us multiple games from AAA to indie studios, and just gave us stuff to look forward to. Yeah, it's gonna always it was a be a smart move for the PSVR owners. Like that wasn't a setup to sell VR systems. Maybe it will. Something like Bravo Team might be a longer experience. Skyrim might sell it for some people. Yeah, um, but I think we were just getting to a point with VR where it's like, okay, I bought the system, I've played through my tech demos, I like my, I've games. had some fun, mm-hmm. I really want to keep playing it and supporting it but nobody's made anything now it's like all right here's all the stuff coming up mm-hmm. when who knows it's that final fantasy we know that but now they at least have something to look forward to like oh i can't wait to get moss or bravo team or whatever um next up they they were they switched the they flipped the yeah. switch from like indie to like triple a in a heart cut out to the audience go back to the screen yep god of war boom so we open on a boat he's like pedaling the boat in and you like roll it behind kratos and he's like talking to his son. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. The way they did the camera reveal was cool. Your wife mentioned it, but like you come up and you're at a really weird angle, like from like behind the boat, just around it. You're like, that's a weird angle. And then it pans up and then you see like the red on his back. And you're like, yeah. And then it like his son starts to talk and then the camera jumps over and you see him come into frame suddenly. Yeah. It's just a really cool. I think that was a, like, that was a stream jitter. <laughs> Yeah, it so could it, be part of It took of you that, out of the... But, uh, but it did, you know, it slides over and it reveals yeah, them after it just like glides and, across. Man, I'm just not used to where this wire is. <laughs> it just kind of like gl- glided across. Like, oh, look yeah. at that. It just floated over. It was really cool. Um, they're going through and they showed like a pot. had a callback to the old game. It had um, Kratos like, like there on the pot, like bleeding on top of yeah, a, with his, a mountain of dead soldiers. Yeah, with his, his blades in yeah. his hand. And, so it and, looked really uh, cool. You know, like those old like ancient Greek pots you see like with paintings and stuff on them. So kind of pot. Yeah, like a terracotta pot. That's what it was. And so it's cool because it it's we know that this is obviously a different time frame. Yeah. This is this is it's way in the area. future to be able to have him painted onto stuff, right? This is not like a year later. This is probably fifteen or twenty years. Also, Who knows it takes some time, time to grow a beard like that. It does. This is a very solid beard. Um like I have this image of Kratos in my head and now like with this beard and seeing him this he looks totally different. Yeah. Most likely they've got a different voice actor. Mm-hmm. Not that the voice actor did bad before, but this is not a game to have Kratos, Ares. Yeah, like, it doesn't it's not really for screaming Kratos anymore. For this, it's he, for like low voiced, intimidating. Yeah. Which I mean, we I'm knew that already. Now, his his yeah. voice was. We, just, the same we heard a little bit moment. more of it this time of him just speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, Look like there's a new set of gods in play. Yep, um, we're we're in a different um, we're in mythology. mythology. We're in Norse mythology. Yeah, so it, really it gets cool. mentioned. So it, in part of the kind of callback to the old game, you hear <clears throat> a character in the game like. She says, the gods don't like newcomers here. Mm-hmm. You're not welcome in this environment, basically. Mm-hmm. So I'd imagine he's on a similar mission of taking out whatever god of his choosing that made him angry. And they're not down for it because he was never part of this ecosystem. And now he's in it and he's messing it up for some reason. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it looks really good. The gameplay was magnificent. Um, it's, I keep getting Dark Souls vibes from it. 
and I mean, it still maybe, looks like it looks like God of War. I mean, it looks like God of War, Super but fast it's, combos. It's it's the uh, just the camera angle from it, and just the way you pivot and move around and lock onto targets. It's because it's a lot closer. There's just it's a lot of similarities. Ever been. Yeah, and I love it. It looks great. It looks very nice. He's still way overpowered, which is perfect. Yeah, just when he, he has that cool shield on his arm. Yeah, it's like you don't see it. It's just like this like bar on his arm. Mm-hmm. And as he whips back, you see it just like fold out into a circle, and he hits people with it, and then it immediately goes away. It's like awesome. that shield's not for protection. <laughs> it is so cool. <laughs> that shield's for beating people up. Yeah. Um. So release window early 2018. Um. So that'll be exciting. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Agreed. Uh. Next up, we saw Detroit. Mm-hmm. A lot of Detroit. Saw a good chunk of it. Yeah. Um. Game different than I thought it was going to be because the first trailer we saw was like the cop situation on the roof and yeah, it was showing like two or three different scenarios. Yeah. As you made decisions. Looks very heavy rain. Where you okay? Make decision here. Gameplay follows here. Make decision here. Gameplay follows here. This looked more action adventure yeah. Um, than Heavy Rain did, which I think it was a from good a thing. different character. Yeah, this character was awesome. wasn't even in the other. We'd have to go back and watch it. But yeah, the last Detroit, like the the difference between the two trailers, almost seems like the first one was a tech demo. Yeah, you know, it, it seems... shows you the environment and shows you what they can do, but it's not actually what the game is about. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, it's an Android revolution. You've got. Androids here, very lifelike. They function normally. You know, they're slaves to people, and one of them gets this freedom. One of them breaks the code or whatever. Yeah, and he gets this idea in his head that he wants to think for himself, and so he goes and he's able to start converting people over, and then he builds up this following. And uh, yeah, you get to kind of decide through the game whether you want to play through with violence, riots, and all this stuff, or you want to do passively. So Mm -hmm. you know, she's handing you, I don't know, it was like some kind of explosive i'm sure yeah and it says take or leave mm-hmm. so i'm sure you take it he throws it at whatever and if you leave it he's like no i don't think that's the right course of action or whatever he says mm-hmm. um i think it was kind of cool yeah um we didn't get a release date no there's release no window. mention of we year, no release anything anything that's which really this was weird. the other one along with uh D- days gone yep days gone that was just like okay we just saw a big chunk of this game this second, is the second time year we've heard about it yep like don't become that that game that we hear about Next year, eighty three, and we're like, okay, I'm tired of seeing it. Yeah, I want to play it. I think we're gonna Don't hear show more up again about E3. both that game and Days Gone. We're gonna see more this week. I'm <clears> sure <throat> that a release date's gonna come soon. I just, I don't know. They both yeah. seem really close to being what you would call done. You know, they both seem really polished, seem really well framed for the most part. Yep. Uh, if you're really curious, if you're a nerd or you know you you have a wife or something. Uh, the the main guy in Detroit, Marcus, is actually Jackson Avery from Grey's Anatomy. So, little fun fact of the day. Boom. Fun fact. Yeah. Same guy, like likeness and everything. Same thing they did with Ellen Page. Um, same sure. thing they did in <laughs> Heavy Rain. All that kind of stuff. So it looks cool. cool. I like I like when they put in voice actors in like their actual. Yeah, I think it's face. Just, it's becoming more and more of a thing as it's we really get cool. closer to those. Aside from games like first that comes to mind is Tales from Borderlands. That's got some big name voice actors in it. That's got. Uh, Nolan North, Troy Baker, um, and several other Patrick Warburton. Yep, these are the voice actors that we all know, but you don't have to do mocap for that. Like it's purely cartoon, where something like Detroit Become Human is supposed to look real, so mm-hmm. you get mocap for that. And it's super cool. Yeah, I like um, it. Technology. Yep. Next up, Destiny Two. Oh, this was good. This was better than expected. Big villain. Uh, I didn't expect presence. In this. I didn't expect to, to see anything new. I didn't either with this, right? But we got to got to meet Gaul. We get to see his face. He's not quite as big as I expected, you yeah. know, with the last like few raid bosses in he's Destiny. He's still thoroughly large. Oh, he's huge. He is huge. But in terms of like how big Oryx was and <laughs> how big uh, Axis was in the last raid, uh, it was just it wasn't what I expected. But it's it's putting forth that that conflicting narrative of just like this guy's like traveled the world in order to and like fought in order to earn the traveler's blessing and yeah. he didn't get it so now he's pissed and he's gonna come and take it so mad I I it's just it. really awesome well, it's just he's like he's like talking to this guardian that's down there on the ground and is he's like i think you've forgotten what death feels like yeah. let's remind you and then just like the the guardian's clearly just like on his knees yeah this number and he picks his foot up and just like shoves him off the cliff yeah like, and dude that looks cool it does and and the important thing here is they put a they had it like a device that came in and attached itself to the traveler and then sent out this blast of energy and all the all the uh guardians around just like just lost it and we're like 
50 percent they, they just were like dragging around and they were holding their arms and stuff almost as if like he was literally taking their light yeah and, and the the ghosts are gone and the light is gone from them and all that kind of stuff looks really cool yeah. september 6th it was cool to see new stuff i didn't expect to see a ton of new stuff yeah um, we saw some of the footage from the ps exclusive stuff comes out i don't like that they do this but i'm glad that we're on the right console for it <laughs> i don't necessarily support it but I'm, is it gonna go to xbox ever yeah so it, it's exclusive until fall 2018 which is what they did with first destiny yeah the, the problem is that it's kind of fluid because it, it's not like there's a date that's gonna hit and we're gonna be like all right now it's here like with the destiny one when they did that they did it in tiers and it was like on this release for this expansion pack you're gonna get the stuff from this expansion pack yeah. beforehand and then with the last stuff they didn't get everything in the end yeah. because the game's over listen no this is where if you watched uh who which conference was it microsoft mm -hmm. the conference we talked about launch um, exclusivity launch exclusivity crap like that and where i mentioned like yeah we have some you know hypocritical moments in this and destiny is one of them mm -hmm. um because we spent so much time with destiny we're gonna get destiny again but it's just one of those things like, yeah, that sucks. That's stupid. I don't like I don't like the I don't Neither. like the practice. It's a well, it's just, exclusive gear that, yeah. that was I mean the gear that we I it's the way I argue it and I have to realize that it's not the best way to argue is like, well this the stuff sucks, so who cares? Like what what if it didn't suck? Well, yeah, it's just you get a strike map, there's exclusive guns and there's PvP. exclusive PvP map. Mm -hmm. So there's two maps and a gun that Get exclusively to and PlayStation. Then, then uh, some some gear, some like yeah, some uh, gear. armor. Uh, yeah, so it's nothing like, crazy. Part of part of where we <laughs> re try to redeem ourselves on this is it's not like Xbox players don't get Destiny until September 2018. Yeah, they just don't get uh, these four like things. Two or three, th yeah, three or four things until September 2018. Story's still all there. Everything else yep. is complete. It's just one nothing extra that really strike. impacts the game. I don't even yeah. imagine this gun is one of those things like, oh yeah, I got this gun. It's like it's not like going to be black spindle. No, like, yeah, it's it, it's it sucks, and I don't like it. I don't like it for anybody for any reason. I don't think it's right, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to not buy Destiny because of it. Nope. That's ridiculous. If they were getting off like actual story content and holding back, like, oh yeah, you could play the game on Xbox, but you're not going to get the true ending unless you play PlayStation. That would be ridiculous. I'd be upset then we about just that. Play Anthem. That's right, exactly. exclusively. So Destiny Two looks really good, looks gorgeous. The interface yeah. for it looks awesome. Um, yeah, and then they had one big one left. If you guys one haven't figured it out now, guess what it is? Mm. It's Spider Man. Yay. Your friend in the neighborhood, Spider Man. The gameplay looks super fast. I still can't believe this is that they got it PS4 exclusivity. That's amazing. It's like awesome. the the fact that it's coming just to one console exclusive, for exclusive, 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 exclusive. It's I was impressed by it. Uh, I knew it was gonna be good because it's Insomniac. They always do really good. Yeah. Um, the his outfit first off looked amazing, looks super cool. Like it's it's the normal red and blue, but it's got like a white spider on each side and something like white accents on his arm yeah. and it just was really balling i loved it yeah so we saw him jump into a construction site um demons mm -hmm. our gang like subset of bad guys i don't imagine they're gonna be the main bad guys in this whole thing no, they showed um, a lot if they are yeah the main bad guys. we saw yeah i'm sure it's just a gang yeah just, just a gang that's what spider-man kind of has it's kind of the same thing uh like the division had i think yeah okay um, i could see that maybe uh fisk i think it's do you think he's gonna be like a main character or he's uh, just kind of like a side character that we were talking I to i mean in he's, that demo. he's in prison but he's still running guys yeah um i'm sure it's fisk is a big he's, he's the kingpin he's a big yep. role in the in the spider-man universe uh i'm curious with the spider-man what direction they're going are they going to focus in on one villain or is it going to be like a lot of spider-man it's focusing on a lot of small villains yeah like what's the what's the draw here they already pointed out two major villains in yeah. terms of the franchise right the head of the demon clan and then you've got fisk so yep. those are pretty big names in what it is so it's like are you going to run into rhino suddenly are you gonna um who else are you going to run into is is oct Doc Ock gonna be there? Are you gonna have Green Goblin? Like, what's the? There's so many good villains. I, mean, I feel like at this point, Spider-Man universe to pick. Not from. that they shouldn't put them in there, but because of the interaction we've had with Doc Ock and Spider-Man in the movies we've had, in the other games we've had, mm -hmm. maybe avoid it for this one. Yeah, I don't know because you know, for this this year's Spider-Man movie, it's Vulcan, right? It's not Vulture. Vulture. Wow, long day. Um. <laughs> so, but I mean, You're it's peaceful about. It's not, you know, our normal guys yeah. that we see there. So that's that's good. I like that. Vulture was in Spider-Man 3, I think. The game. He might. Oh, the game. Okay. He was in the third game. Okay. So we've seen... He wasn't a, He wasn't the main bad guy. Yeah. But he was part of it. We'll see. Anyways. 
A lot yeah. of bad guys. So that's cool. The demons and Fisk's guys look like they're at odds with each other, and you need information from Fisk, and so you beat up the demon guys, and uh, you run across these quick time events, which give you a good amount of warning. Like it's just like a circle pops up, and it's like bing, and you just gotta hit it when it gets to the center. Yep. Not, it's not like up. Oh, oh, you missed it. It's gone. <laughs> like what? What? It flows. It pops it, up it on the screen flow really well in a natural spot. Mm-hmm. You're kind of looking that way. Um, it just looks really cool. I mean, they showed us everything right they showed us some stalking above a la like batman yep. like arkham series right you stalk above you pick out your targets you have different ways to take them down you set traps for people uh you use environmental objects to beat people right did all this cell stuff and then uh he goes up to the next section you see a little bit of traversal and then he just jumps right into combat and you've got i i, I want to say arkham style combat but it's not it no. was it, there's combo based multiple people attacking you at the same that's time that's the part that felt like the old Spider- that felt like stuff. Spider-Man 1 mm-hmm. like he's super fast he's jumping around he's moving around the guys with the guns and he's just like you know hit him with the web and like beat him up time mm-hmm. of the wall it's just really fast really smooth oh yeah I think it's gonna be awesome it looks great They've the just the way they're doing the combat is really smooth uh, it looks like when you dodge and like jump over somebody there's a small like time, like time slows down a little bit for that to yeah. process which looks cool uh, it, it's it's really neat, but what always everyone's concerned about is the web slinging. Web right? slinging, always um, a concern. Yeah. So you start with your Chase's helicopter and you run up the building, which I think was a, an ability in one of the Spider-Man games. But this just looks like he jumps and he runs up the building because why would you crawl straight up? That's dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's chasing this helicopter through the city, and as he's flying, a big concern that we that I had in the old Spider-Man games is if you hit a building, he either like bump and fall or he hit it and stick to it. Right. This time, as you get close to a building, he turns sideways and runs on it. Yep. And then it's like, say the helicopter station goes on the corner. Instead of you having to look that way and do it, he just like whips on the side of the building and just turns. Yep. And gets back on his building and then starts flying through like it should be. Yeah. It just looks so good. It did. And it's it was obvious intentional that he purposely ran into buildings a couple times instead of turning it wide. Yeah. So you, he could see that that's what was happening. I'd imagine that's like looks a, really awesome. a technique they put in. Like, you'll turn faster. You get up to the corner of the building and you're just like, bing, I want the corner and just whip around it as opposed yeah. to trying to turn and swing around yeah. it. We saw the traversal of everything the the from running over like floors and like objects and yeah. desks and things like that and vaulting over them for like a parkour element. You see the web slinging, you see the combat. We got everything. This was a really well structured yeah. trailer. Um, and, and it wasn't way, super long. No, it wasn't. It was probably 5 or 6 minutes and you you had like the quick time events there towards the end. Um, really you had them kind of sprinkled in but uh, towards the end, as the helicopter's going down, and you just you have to tap as fast as you can to be able to stop the the uh, the helicopter from hitting the ground. Yeah, a lot of cool elements to it. Uh, it's exactly cool. what I wanted it to be. I think that's everyone knew it was coming. Everyone knew it was probably gonna be the headline of the show. It's their big exclusive uh, game outside of you know a couple other exclusive games. But this is like their this is the new one, yeah. right? We we haven't seen anything for it other than a, a real brief trailer last year. And um, it's when everybody's talking about Spider-Man's coming back in a big way to the the big screen. So this is a perfect time to start the conversation about what this game looks like. And uh, I was blown away. Like it just it it fulfilled what I needed to see in a Spider-Man yeah. game. For I think it was the fantastic. Uh, we got a 2018 Fantastic date. Four. Or eh, 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 eh. it's all right. It's fine. It's you'll get you'll get on the way home. That was a stretch. Hey, hey, <laughs> there you go. That's bop, bop, bop. Out. So 2018, no month, nothing. So just look for it next year. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Insomniac doesn't usually do delays, though. They're pretty no. pretty good about that. That's probably why well, we were talking about this. People that put out months. So like, I don't know, whatever game in here put out a month in a year. Like Final Fantasy. Final September Fantasy. 2017. Okay. You, you can shift it a couple weeks in there and no one's going to know. Yeah, because it's like you're three months away. How do you not know what the date is? There's yeah. no way you don't know what date it's releasing. Yeah, but that's so the... You, it's the rush. It's like, throw oh, it man, we forgot one of the great fish battles of uh, of yesteryear. We must put it in. Please well, delay it two weeks. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You see these delays come up every now and then. It, it becomes news whenever a game is delayed, especially something as big as Final Fantasy, especially something as big as Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. When these games come up and it's like, even if it's delayed two weeks, yeah. they got to put out a story for it. Kotako and you, Kotako? Kotako. Boy. What'd you have for lunch there? Hi, it's a Kotako. Kotako. Um, Kotaku and Polygon and IGN and Eurogamer, all these stories pick it up. Final Fantasy delayed, and then you gotta open the article and see two weeks. So it's like, okay. So it's better just to have that kind of vague release window. So you put it to 2018, closer. and like, yeah, we're aiming for March, but it couldn't come out in August. So <laughs> no one's Red, gonna know. Just ask Red Dead how that went. <laughs> so that's, right. that, I mean, those were the games we saw. There was a, a brief thing at the end of Spider Man where 
um, they like it was a couple kids like shooting on a phone, and then like they turned and they what did they call him? I forgot. Crap. Hang on, we're gonna look this up. But it was a tease. Hang on this boat. Hang it on was this. just another tease. It was uh, like an after credit scene in a Marvel movie. Um, and so it's awesome. I just I'm really excited for the Spider Man universe to be back on a next gen console, oh. current gen, whatever we're you want to call it. Wrong. Um, if you're curious, oh yeah, because yeah. Well, it's not. Was it Wayne? N- I no, I forgot his just... name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all right. If you guys know what they were teasing at the end of the Spider Man trailer, we'll drop the link below, and you let us know what you guys think. Um, yeah. So it's all overall. What What do you think about this conference? Um, let me hear it. Technical issues aside, let's yeah. Technical those issues aside, happen. like we're not. I'm I'm not commenting on that because that's not Sony's fault or any anyone that had a bad stream during this whole conference. It's not the developers or whoever's hosting the stream. Yeah. Fault. That's a production problem. Um, I was admittedly initially disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, now having talked through it a little, all of it again and in depth, um, I'm more excited for it. And I think I was disappointed because we do exist in the Sony ecosystem. And we, if you ever watch our podcast, yeah. we're talking about gaming news. We're more than likely talking about PlayStation news. Yeah. It's just where we're at. It's what we play. And it's what we know. So I had really high expectations for Sony. And last year was such a great conference it was just like yeah. hit after hit after hit after hit and then this one's kind of like oh yeah there's these kind of like small things there's these independent vr stuff which is cool for vr stuff i mean yeah. there's days gone which we've seen and don't have a release date for there's uh shadow of the Colossus was new and cool which is awesome marvel versus capcom infinite was kind of like nah for me like i'm not a big fighting game kind of guy yeah call of duty's pretty typical like these things that it's kind of like, yeah, like I've seen those, and that's not super exciting. Yeah, there wasn't a ton of new stuff. Um, for me, I, I liked it. Um, they didn't show a ton of games, right? You know, Microsoft bragged about how they did like 42, 42 games. games. Um, you yeah. know, most of those were in a quick, like, five minute trailer from ID at Xbox. <laughs> it's not fair when you cramp, not really fair when you seconds. do that. <laughs> um, but so, I mean, when you look at the titles we have, let's take away the VR for a second and look at what we have there. Almost every single game on that list is a AAA title. Yeah, so right, we're Spider-Man, talking Spider Man, Destiny 2, Detroit, God of War. Horizon Scroll DLC. Up. Yep. Uh, Call of Duty, Marvel vs. Capcom, Shadow of Colossus, Monster Hunter World, Days mm-hmm. Gone, Horizon, and Uncharted. Yeah. So there's maybe two so of those games that aren't Monster AAA. Hunter and Marvel vs. Capcom are really kind of your standout there. Yeah. Of like, you two are different than the others. Everything else is. They're huge games. Like they're stuff. big games. They're first party. They're we very well known platforms. Um, some of them are exclusive. We all know what the exclusives are, right? We've got Horizon. We've got Uncharted. We've got Days Gone. Shadow. That's, that's impressive. All, all that right there, like yep. Shadow is... is um, then you've got God of War, obviously. We're, we're it's talking, almost easier to list what's not We're talking six or seven like exclusives yeah. right here. And they didn't mention it, and they didn't rub it in anyone's face because they didn't have to. Um, I like what he said when he came out. He says, we've got the exclusives that you want. That was the key that that Sean used. Right, Sean? Yeah, Sean Layden. Yeah, Sean Layden used that. And I was like, I, that's true. That's very true. And so, yes, we did not see 42 games. But instead of seeing two AAA games and a bunch of indie games, a bunch of in-progress development, smaller titles, yep. we got to see 10 to 12 like AAA games. We didn't get... I, I'm annoyed about the release dates. That's the part that bothers me. I'm really annoyed We've got mul- multiple games that didn't give us anything that should have given us stuff. Uh, we had, stuff. This we happens have... every year. This is not a new thing. This is not, I oh my goodness, I didn't believe this happened. Microsoft did the same thing. Mm-hmm. They just had more games with release dates to give us an idea of what was going on. Two, not a ton of stuff for this year, three, which kind of stinks. Yeah. So there's three, maybe four if I miscounted games that have actual day release dates yeah which is fine i i'm not expecting necessarily day i was for days gone but whatever uh, i'm not expecting day window. just window I, I'm, I'm expecting windows out of e3 i think everything should give me a window if if day, if days gone really didn't give us a window and doesn't give us a window this week then i'm a little concerned for how far they could have even done like the bethesda thing where in bethesda's conference at the end pete hines comes out says everything you saw tonight is going to be out in 2017 I don't expect that from PlayStation, but you come out and be like, everything you saw is going to be out before 2019. Yeah. Um, Even something like that. Boy, I feel like everything should at this point. I don't know why like, you wouldn't. Days um, Gone and Spider-Man are your two biggest wild cards, but even Spider-Man said it's going to be 2018. Yeah. I mean, God of War is early 2018, so we're talking first quarter Sony for that. Sony Bend worked on? Cold Abyss? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine that they're that far from days gone being ready to go. So I'm a little disappointed with the release dates, um, and there wasn't a ton of surprises. 
I think I, I don't know if that's because we focus on PlayStation so much. Yeah. And we know what was coming and we know what was going to happen. Um, a couple things that were missing for me. Uh, we didn't see anything about Borderlands Three. Nope. Which there was no like. There was no indication that we would. It's, they've never been like an exclusive console exclusive anything for anyone. No. So there was no guarantee we were going to see them today um, for Sony or for Microsoft yesterday. Um, so that's not a big surprise for me. It sucks because I want to see it. Yeah. And I, I still think there's E3 hasn't even happened yet. Right. Yeah. We're still today. It's the first day of E3. All the conferences are done except for Nintendo's, uh, which happened this morning. Uh, then you've got like oh, three full days I was like, yeah this comes out nope this happened that happens tomorrow morning <laughs> but so um you've got three days of nothing but like games and developer interviews and stuff so i think we're going to get more information like the news does yeah. not stop you know on the 12th right we've still got three days to go so i think we'll see more um but so we we didn't get anything from borderlands 3 and we didn't see anything from death stranding i was a little surprised about that i was so happy about that I mean, I'm happy because I don't want to see it right now. Either. Give me like an actual product, but have an actual product. They've had it what the last two E3s, or was it just last uh, year's E3? Last year's E3 was when it was announced, and we saw it again at PSX. Mm. I'm pretty sure is what happened. So, so last year at E3 um, was in, <laughs> it's when Hideo Kojima walked out, and he was like outpacing the stairs right. as they were like revealing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was like no, 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 slow down. But that's when we saw the first trailer, and then we saw another one. I'm pretty sure at PSX. Yeah, and from now until it's got a release date i feel like we could they could be radio silent mm -hmm. from here until it's like and it's coming out in seven months yeah i don't cool. know it's uh i'm into that we're a long ways away they announced that they had an engine like less than a year ago so you know using the horizon yeah. dawn's engine as as kind of their base like a couple months ago it was a few months ago yeah but, yeah. it, but it was recent, recent enough to not have gameplay. Right. So I'm glad that they weren't there. I'm glad we didn't get a crappy cinematic of something we don't understand. Yeah. I'm perfectly happy with it. So I'm glad that that wasn't there. But I, I honestly did think it might be there. So well, yeah, I because when Sean Layden came out at the end, he was like, we got one more thing from like a legendary or however you phrase it, like well-respected game developer. Because my first thought when everybody, when everybody talks about legendary or immediately recognizable game developers is like, mm -hmm. it's Hideo Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, but I knew it wasn't. And then you were like, no, it's Spider Man. I was like, oh, it's a good point. We have got to be Spider Man yet. because yeah. they told us they're going to be at E three, and there's no way a PlayStation exclusive is not going to be in the conference. So, it's just for me, I'd say seven out of ten. It was there. It was not what PlayStation was last year. And I mean, if we had to, it, obviously, the obvious comparison is going to be to the Xbox conference, yeah. right? So they had a big console reveal. They had a ton of games. Uh, I still think the games on the PlayStation conference appealed to me more than the Microsoft games. Yeah. Nothing about the Microsoft made me think I needed to get an Xbox, and everything on the PlayStation 1 says I want to play that. There was very few games that I saw tonight, and I was like, ah, that doesn't really work for me. I don't really yeah. like that. That doesn't. No, I didn't say that. I loved every game I saw, outside of the technical issues and outside of the stream issues and things like that. Yeah. So it's good. They just, I would have liked more, and the conference was kind of short. It was right at an hour. It didn't feel really short. Everybody else has been long. Yeah. Right. Microsoft was an hour and a half, almost two hours. And yeah. so it was short. It I just wish there could have been a little bit more. Yeah. Sean Layden walks me. out and he goes, Over the last hour, I was like, Well, it's been an hour and I looked down at my watch and it's like eight forty five and I was like, Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That like flew past. So but, yeah, so I say seven yeah. out of ten. It it beats Xbox, but not near as much as it did last year. No, yeah. Last year it blew everyone out of the water. This year it's kinda like yeah, you're pretty much on par with everybody else. That's because a lot opinion. of the games we saw this year, we also saw last year. Yep. So that's a little so, bit of a gripe for me. Yep. But we'll that is going to wrap up our Sony E3 recap. Yep. Um, if you're new, we do videos five times a week. Uh, so let's play us four times a week. Pod my ice cube exploded. An ice cube just exploded. <laughs> that was weird. I got wet on my neck. I got wet on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, podcast one time a week. Follow us on Twitter at IR Games. Stay up to date with what we're doing. Uh, we're putting out a bunch of videos for E3 as things videos. come out. And we will get together and react to them as fast as we can. Yep. Um, but until then, thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye. Bye.